think one of the clearer signs that I'm getting older is the fact that I hate dandelions. I mean, think about it. When you're a kid, dandelions, they're one of the great things. I mean, they grow, you know, in these, these great fields of dandelions on, on public property, you know, in your own backyard. You know, if you let them grow for long enough, they, they go to seed. You pick the seed one and you blow it, and all of a sudden the seeds fly everywhere. As an adult, I hate that because I'm trying to grow a healthy lawn. And so, you know, to that end, I spent a lot of time in the spring raking up the dead grass from last year, overseeding the lawn, watering it and fertilizing it. And then I go around and I start pulling out the weeds. And it's, it's kind of crazy when you pull, you know, a dandelion head that's got five or six or eight or ten flowers on it, the roots can be like this long. It's insane. So when you read this Sunday's gospel, which continues along our, our theme of seeds and, and growing faith, when Jesus talks about these weeds that need to be pulled up and tossed away, I can sympathize with that. And so, you know, when somebody has a, an experience of turning towards God, of, of a, a conversion experience, we like to call them sometimes, they'll, they'll sometimes start carving out some of the negative parts of their life, things that they know they shouldn't do, shows you shouldn't be watching, games you shouldn't be playing. And there's often this gap in your life. Well, one of the things I've noticed when I yank dandelions is that if it's a particularly big head of dandelions and there's a particularly big root on it, well, when I yank this dandelion out, there's this big hole and there's this dirt. And what grows up in that spot, if I don't take proper care of it, is either more dandelions or a more insidious weed, like Canada thistle. So I think part of the challenge that Jesus is leveling at us is to make sure that we fill ourselves with those things that are good, those ways in which we can see seed grow properly. What we want to make sure that we are, are, are those whose hearts are fertile soil, are those who are willing to yank out the weeds and to make room for, for what God has in mind, for what God wants to grow in us, a vibrant, living, fruitful faith.